Hold it. It's something. Mama got it. Yay! Same one that Abby has. Cool. Very cool. Can I open up mine now? It's yeah. from Abby. Abby, you're very special. I'm like, I'm got you. I know it. Do you like the colors that I chose? Oh, cool! Very it was either nice. that or a pink. Ellie, it was either that or a pink rose one. Oh, oh, you guys, what do you, we don't know Thank much you. about what Tamagotchi is. Can you tell me? They're computerized pets. I think. Yeah. A computerized. Yeah, it's pet. a little. It's a little game. Okay. We're not and big on. Them, and you have to feed them, and if you don't feed them, they die. Feed them. They die. They die. What, what do you mean? feed them? Anything that's on the menu? Peanuts. Whatever's on the menu, they have a menu on here. How do they feed them? Wait, I'll show you. Oh, oh, what's this? this? Okay, Who's now. Shopping. New game. That's Mom should open up her Postmaster. Postmaster. Who's a oh, stamp, stamp girl, girl from, from the Postmaster. Postmaster? Abby, you're pretty good. Okay, now you have to do one guess as to what this is. Stamp. Boy, that's, that's that's a really good guess. Go ahead and open it. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. That is the coolest thing! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh, I love this! What is it? It's your ability. I can make real... Oh, I love this so much! <laughs> I can make stamps! So I make a stamp, mm -hmm. it's worth 39 cents, and it would have your picture on it there. Is it Apple compatible? Daddy, what you? Yeah. We got it at the Apple, Apple store. store. It's compatible oh, with, so with um, iPhoto. And the postmaster, yeah. the postman is all okay with this, right? Hey, um, well, you do it online with some company, Mom. and and they, uh, they, yeah, they they print them out, it's they mail simple. them to you. It takes it takes like three days. Daddy, can I tell you? Can I tell yeah. Mom what yeah. we were gonna do? Dad, can I can I tell Mom what we were gonna that do? Might be a the about it, we were post gonna have like there. it. Um, kind of email us stuff. You can have the stamps just if I can lick them. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, thank you so much. This is, I think, this is my favorite present. <laughs> it's your first one, too. Oh, what if it gets anything. better than this? Oh, she hasn't seen anything yet. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I saw it. We saw that, and it or, was like, oh, boy. Now, which, you know what I think you ought to do, Karen? Is I think one thing you need to do is you need to get a really good picture of each of them individually. And, and have them for all their things. Yeah. Like now you know. Remember, they're going to change. You know, they'll, they're going to change uh, the price of stamps at some point. So you don't want to just like load oh, up. Soon but. too, I think. No, but if you load up on those, remember, Mom, when we did that? Yeah, you should always put extra, you know, a couple. Options. Purchasing the software entitles you to buy 29 dollars Right there. Okay. You want to open? Yeah, there. Now, this stuff, this, this stuff says, crash, Our politically Abby, savvy son in law, Donna Nyleen, and David cool. Letterman's mom. Cool. <laughs> It's a book. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Our politically savvy son-in-law, Don and Eileen and David. Then do you even know what you're doing? Yep, you got to figure that one out. No. That's a pretty cool present. Yours. That's one of the funnest Abby. ones. Abby, can you teach me how to use this thing? Ask Ellie. Mine died. <laughs> what? Your dad? Culture Warrior. These are good books. Oh, yeah. That guy's a bestseller. Best oh, yeah. Do you have it? Where'd they go? No. I have no idea, but we'll have to keep away from Wrigley. Cool. Thank you very much. That's from Paula. That is so awesome. Yeah, that's, that's from Paula. She told me to oh, tell you about that. With game. three straight number one bestsellers and more what than four million that? copies in print. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who does from Abby? Paula. Oh. 
This is this this is Christmas 2006. But it's not really that Christmas. Is so cute. It's the day before oh, Christmas Eve. Yeah, it's the 23rd of December. That is so you. Oh, I love Perfect. it. Perfect. Let me see. Face the camera. Yay! Good job. Cute, Abby. That's adorable. Well, show. now I have to go to the doctor's. Okay, who's next? Mm -hmm. No. Grandma, Grandpa, one of you. Do we open yeah. these? Yeah, yeah, you guys open yeah. that. That's okay. from Paula. It is? Okay. okay. We'll open this one. Is that all right with you? Hello. Yep. Hi, Dad. How are you? Over there. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Egg pop. Yes, it is. Ellie, is your egg pop? Two yes. Cups. It's Cafe Claire and it's called almond cookies and two cups and some coffee. Isn't that oh, sweet? Nice. Who's that from? Oh, from Paula. Oh, nice. Oh, dear. Right there. That's, That's real nice. nice. Come on, egg pop. Yes. Can't it this is. egg go any slower? It looks like a little, like a little basket. Oh. We ask you to bless us. May this scene be a reminder to us of the story of your birth, and draw all of us closer to the simple message of the love of God for each one of us. Turn each one of our hearts into a manger ready to receive you and celebrate your gift of joy and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to ask my own boys to bless shake the holy water and the angel. Wonderful. Now shall the light of the world and into our homes. Now we're going to have a mother and a grandmother light the candles tonight. It was always a tradition that the youngest person in the home uh, would light the candle, but mothers and grandmothers are always young. So, honey. You stop sucking your thumb. Okay, quick. Mom, we have three sequins. Well, you know what? Yeah. 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 Y
know what? We really like that game. <laughs> so, yeah, I get the bell. And the one sequence is kind of, we should keep one of them because that other Yeah, one that kind of, other one's trash. Well. Hey, this one has gold. That's really nice. Well, that's that's one of the cards on the. Mom, catch. Board. Yeah. That's really fun. fun. We played it at cat at the That's right. Well, that's true. Oh, look at that. Oh, how cute. It's a cookie jar. Cookie jar. Cool. Biscotti. Ellie, spotlight's on you. We can put biscotti treats in there. Yeah, so you can yank it off the countertop and break it. You wrap too. Huh? There's a Sleeping Beauty one. To Sleeping Beauty? Hi. I <laughs> like your hair. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> okay. Next. Um, how about? I have an open one. I want to. I want to open this one. I have an open one. Hey, Zoom. Okay, everybody. I'm going to open a present. Oh, that's okay. a good gift. Right. Sir, Abby doesn't have one. Oh, I have yeah, one. Hers is in the bag. Abby, uh, yours is in the bag. Sam, you got it. Why? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. One sec. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Open. Oh, I love these shoes. I love these socks. I'll take my party some other. We can't. I can't throw away the other ones until I have. Oh, jeez. I'll look tomorrow. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. Oh. What is it? It looks like an ornament. Nice. Oh, it's or a you Hallmark can you show it? it says, I love Grandma. Show it. Show it to me. I can't see it. It's a Hallmark ornament, and it says, I love Grandma on it. Can I look inside now? <laughs> Don't zoom in, Aren't Tim. you surprised? Zoom it out. <laughs> you I am. Yeah. Take the hit pause. I wonder what this has. say, I love Grandma. Well, it says that on the box, but look here. It's milk and cookies. It says, I love Grandma on the cup, and oh, there's milk and cookies. Are you listening? You yeah. want to hear this? And look who's on the picture. Yeah, you're right. You guys. You are so nice. Oh, I nice was. Yeah. This is Oh. And she's got a chocolate cream ribbon on here that I can do. You can have it. And maybe we'll make a hairband. Yeah. Would you like that? Uh-huh. Might be enough to make one for Ellie, too. I think there might be. Maybe. And then tears the tag to Grandma from the Oh yeah, Daddy? Daddy? You know the car, you know the car that you backed into? Uh-huh. The lady called today. Yeah, I talked to her. And I don't know when you came when you shot to this because you were with me most of the day. I was with you last time. You were. Did you get another shot? Did you? Mmm. Um, I wonder what it is. It's another bookmark. What is it? Show the camera. Show the camera. It? It's a sister. You know, oh, I love them. That is so nice. Is that you needed? I did say that. Sometime we were talk I was talking about how much I like yours. And you tuned in on that, didn't you? Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's nice. Abby is very It's nice. a triangle. It's a triangular one? Mm-hmm. Oh, these are so nice. That it's just the nicest thing. Oh, look, you can set it down on the counter. Cool. So that you're, see, and you won't get your hand in there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it? No need to. Contour. Huh. Oh, in your dream. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. No. <laughs> yeah. That is not a clue. What is it? What is it? Did the coal break? Oh, it comes in a nice case. That's you gotta be kidding. Case. Tickets to the cockpit. <laughs> oh. oh, way. That's what all those things so were. Yeah, around. the bowl, the kind that is bowl, the airplane. <laughs> So you're going to be taking an airplane. You're going to be taking a taxi to the corn huskers. Yeah, the corn huskers. And you're going to be staying at the Magnolia. And you're going to be staying at the Magnolia.
Magnolia. <laughs> Magnolia. Oh, okay. I wore it. I thought, what is this? What is it? Petunia. <laughs> and I thought it was. Oh, jeez, you guys. And where's my Sam? My Don Sam was really afraid. He was really, he was really getting it. a bunch of lousy gifts. Ready? I'm gonna do it. I have no idea. I don't think so, Sam. No, Sam. Don't, Sam. I saw that cotton. I thought, well, it's got Maybe something got maybe to do with the Oscars. I didn't. Jeez, you guys. You yeah, we're not. sending you to the poop deck, and you get to watch it on that. Uh huh. Daddy, Daddy, my elbow's just a little sore. Yeah, I get her. Good. Scott will be there. Poop deck. I should have done that. I should have gotten a picture of the poop deck. So, yeah, you're gonna go down to the poop deck yeah, and watch the game. Scott sitting there at the bar. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So. He just left it in Which there. Which one am I supposed to open first? That one. This one? You can have your sports stuff back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oops. Oh, that's okay. Can you help me? Now open the... Uh, earrings. Yeah, you can open them. That first. Yeah, the earrings. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sam said that. <laughs> Do I open the earrings first or no? Shall we wait for the bracelet? Yes, for nice earrings. Oh, all right. Are they earrings? Oh, those are very yeah. nice. Yeah, I knew it. Now, if you don't <laughs> like outside, I got these. Well, I'll open up the other one and I'll tell you where I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this are nice, though. Those are pretty. I was on my sojourn to the beach the other day. What? Oh, down by the beach is where you were? Yeah, I where you got this. Uh, Actually, the lady in there. I Did you go to 17th Street Jewelry? No, I went to uh, <laughs> Elliot's Jewelry. Yeah, we're right next door. Right, right, right two next. doors up from Hamilton's. Oh, oh, I They've know what you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years, yeah. No. Or earrings. Or no, real yeah. diamond earrings. She doesn't know me. We go to Clayton. What's <laughs> this way? Is that a real diamond? No, it's a cross, honey. Is there real diamonds in there? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, that's very nice. Look out for your fingers. Oh, that's nice, Don. If you don't like the length of the, if you don't like the length of the chain or the size of the earrings, you can. I've got the. Okay, everybody, look here. One, two, three. John, I can't see you. John, move your head. Okay. One, two, what? One, two, three. Alright, stop. Okay, Good. Alright, don't, 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 Hello, my name is Sam Holtz. I was born in Beverly Hills, California on November 30th, 1998 at 4.32 a.m. I don't remember much about what I did as a tiny baby, but when I was one year old, I smashed my head into my birthday cake <laughs> and didn't eat any of it. it. I just giggled and giggled. At age two, I loved the boat, the queen, too. And when we saw it, it, I, when we saw it, I said, toot, toot, <laughs> when it came by. When I was two and a half, I rode a scooter for the first time. At age three, I thought Monsignor Barry was God. So whenever he walked by, I would whisper, whisper to my mom, there's God. <laughs> he loved it. At age four, I made a treasure hunt for grandma, my grandma. I saw, I said, mom, I made it kind of easy because Graham is a little old. So I made it kind of easy. At age five, I was a ring bear for a wedding in 
Who's Alaska. waiting? Alaska. And I got tossed around in a limo. Who's waiting with it, Pam? Katie's and Kelly's. Uh -huh. What'd they toss you around? How'd they toss you around? They tossed me around in the limousine, like they did a circle. They did a circle. And Are I you happy fix... about that? Yeah. Hmm. I need to fix one thing here. Okay. What is it that you had to fix? I had to make the eye darker because oh. I thought it was a T. At age six, I went to a water park in Iowa. And when we got back to my grandma's, I had water in my ear and I hit my head on a glass table. And I had seven stitches. At age seven, I learned how to kneeboard. <laughs> you know what else you did that day that you got the stitches? What? You did a flip off the diving board. I did a flip off the diving board. So. And I, I was like looking at you and all of a sudden I go, I was filming you and I go, did he do a flip? Yeah, I did. did he do a flip? And I had to replay it back. <laughs> I learned how, at age seven, I learned how to kneeboard in Okaboji. When I did it, I would not stop. At age eight, I was. I at age eight, I was the little drummer boy in church, and I didn't have to wear fancy clothes. Did that make you happy? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Now I am age eight because I don't like wearing fancy clothes. They're hot. Oh. Now I am age eight. <laughs> a major influence in me in my life has been mom because she plays with me, helps me, talks with me, reads with me. She lets me be whoever I want to be. My goals for the future are to be a doctor and deliver babies and learn to play the guitar. And that's my timeline. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice, thank nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And cut. Bye-bye. What? Stop <laughs> videotaping me. Why? I don't like it. Why? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, you shy? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sitting on the dock with the bird. Did you know you get $40,000 for a commercial all around the United States? You do? Yes. Wow. For one little commercial? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, what want to see it? Wait, wait, wait. Turn it on. Keep it on. Want to see a TV show with my feet? Yeah. Hello, pet. What you doing tonight? Oh, I want to go to dinner with you. Okay. Ow, this food isn't even good. It is a boot. Mine is a boot. Well, let's go over to Poncho's. Boop, boop, boop. This is really good food. Where do they get it? I don't know, Pat. But wherever they got it, it is pretty good. Wanna go? Sleep? Have a sleepover? Sure. What movie do you want to watch? How about let's watch Narnia? Ooh, Ooh ah, ooh. Pretty light colors. Ah, woo. Wanna go to bed now? Sure. That's the end. Thank you, thank you. I w was the master of that. That would be $20. $20? Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Bye. Bye. Stop videotaping me. Mom, you're wasting your film. Go. Hello. Hello. How are you, Sam? Good. Tonight is first penance. Can you talk to us about it, Sam? I'd like to hear your voice. We're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna, I don't know. What happens today? I get, it's like baptism when you're free from your sins. Are yeah. you excited? Mm-hmm. So it's getting you ready for what? First, Holy Communion. And... Do you know when you were baptized? May 9th. Uh -huh. 
Huh? What year? 1998. Nine. Okay, Lord, do not realize how true it is. Can we just go? Okay. Yes. We'll go. Okay. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start with first two oh, parts. Why do we go? Lovely ladies of the clan, they call them us. And we are going to Vegas just to strut our stuff. And if you are wondering just why we joined this family, we'll tell you, have a listen, and you'll see. We love cream, we love kolaches, we love beer. Sauerkraut and dumplings make us grin from ear to ear. Of course, we dance the polka, and the speech is so very clear. We are here. All right. We're Robin, Melanie, and Seal, and we marry these folk guys. But why, you ask, how could you? Did you open up your eyes? No. Oh, yes, we can explain it. It wasn't for your charms. Thank you. But here's the honest reason we fell into your arms. We love cream. We love color. Please make a grin from ear to ear. Of course, we dance the polka and we dance so very clear. We're part of this great family and we're glad that we are here. Number three. Number three. Number three. Where are Ellen and I'm Barbara? No, stop. Oh my God. I'm the spoiled little sister. We've been spoiled. I'm the adopted one. And oh, no, yeah, 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 so over with number three. She I sounds know, like Harry Clinton. Guys forever, and why we love them, we can't say. They're a piece of work, we know it. But yes, they were born that way. Of course. Hello. We love We love kolaches. We love It was the 1960s. Sour crowd and dumplings make us grin from here to here. Of course, we dance the polka and speak Czech so very clear. We're part of this great family and we're glad that we are here. Number four. Number four. We're Donnell and Karen, and what can we say? I was born into this family until Jan took me away. Good for you. Thank you. One fine day, so I am stuck here, you may say. We love, love these mac guys so oh so much. much. They're great, but you know it's true. But the honest reason we are here, we'll explain again to you. We love cream, we love kolaches, we love beer. Sauerkraut and dumplings make us grin from ear to ear. Of course we dance a polka and see check so very clear. We're part of the straight family and we're glad that we are here. Okay. Oh, number five. Today we celebrate the birth of two of these muff guys. To Dan and to Tom, we say these surely send the lies. But someday soon we all will be where you are now. We know, and when we are, we'll celebrate. And this is what we know. We.
Hey, Abby. Welcome to London. Hello, Sam. six inch guns, six on the front deck and six on the back deck. They could fire a hundred weight shell more than 14 land miles. The ship saw action during the Second World War, last firing her guns in anger in the Korean War. She's permanently moored in the Pool of London as an extension to the Imperial War Museum. You can go on board there and explore all nine decks. Right down in the engine room, the up onto the captain's Warm bridge, really? into yeah. the gun now turrets. So that's here, if you've got young kids, I definitely uh, yeah. recommend yeah, taking them over that. there. It's all free of charge for children under 16 and adults about seven pounds, and they will have a really, really good day on there. Believe me, it's very, very good for the kids. Now, this is our pier. This is uh, this is the pier we're making our first stop at. This will be Tower <laughs> Pier. But as I said just a minute ago, we'll take you past the pier, show you the Tower of London and Tower Bridge before making our first stop. Here's the Tower of London. Now, we have a modern building over on the right-hand side. Can you see this modern, uh, sloped, slanted building? This is, uh, this is the offices for Ken Livingstone, the Mayor of Greater London. Uh, this is his office, and it's called City Hall. Just over our left shoulder now, I'm sure most of you have heard about this building. If you look behind us on the left, see the tall rocket-shaped building? You'll get a much clearer view of this in a moment. This is the Swiss Re Tower, and it's owned by Swiss Re. Or part of it is anyway. The top half of it was sold off to a German insurance company about six weeks ago now for £600 million. And that's twice as much as it cost them to build it in the year 2003. And the bascules can be uh, raised in under one minute to allow the taller shipping in and out of the Pool of London. When the river was busier, this bridge could have opened up between 20 or 30 times a day. People could walk up the towers across the catwalks at the top and carry on with their daily business. Today, the, uh, the top half of the bridge is open as an exhibition and you pay about seven or eight pounds to look round the bridge. It still opens up, I'd say, about 800 times every year. Now, as you can see, we're turning round now and uh, we're making, uh, making a little stop here now. We're going to show you the Tower of London. Now, once you've all taken your this pictures, so folks, great. if you could all find your seats yeah. once again, yeah. through there to await imprisonment or execution inside of the Tower of London. Today, it's home to our crown jewels, which are guarded by the Yeoman Walders. They're better known to us as the Beef Eaters. I highly recommend a visit to the Tower, especially once again with the kids. There's loads of stuff going on in there for them. Now, we're going to make our...
Here it goes. Here it goes. Uh, that was it. Wow. <laughs> Let's go roll down the hill. I'm just going to go lay on it. really slow. You know what, Steve? Just tilt your hat back a little bit. You can see your face. Yeah. That's better. Or take the head off. Captain Siam is somewhere on the seven seas of the world. He's trying to find his way home. Now, the first piece of information that he needs, the first thing he needs to know in order to begin to navigate successfully is his local time. First of all, he must find out exactly what time it is, wherever he is in the world. Now, he can do this quite easily, especially on a day like today, by looking to the sun. Because when the sun reaches its highest point in the sky, when it reaches, reaches the zenith of its arc at midday, we know for certain it is 12 o'clock noon, 12 o'clock midday, no matter where we are in the world. Sailing away across the ocean can now look up from aboard his ship and take measurements, sightings, angles, readings from these stars. Sterling work, keep it up. Now thirdly, and most importantly of all, most importantly, Captain Siam needs to know something else. He needs to know exactly what time it is somewhere else in the world. He needs to know exactly what time it is on another fixed meridian somewhere else on the surface of the Earth where he can measure from. Have somebody over here with me. These are the guys that don't make any faces, right? Smile and talk to them. Hi, Have you ever been to this? No, but I know this is going to stand in there and you can stand next to them. It's so difficult to do that. People are making faces at him and he's making jokes and he can't do that. It's kind of unfair to do that to him. I'm trying to use a young recruit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
step up there if you want, at least. So that the fence doesn't push away. this cool look at Sam wave to him
Okay, here comes a guy now. I bet he's going to go into the seat. Should the camera up? Should the camera? Come on. I'm going to miss it. Just one. Okay. Right here. Walking down, <coughs> going into a circle. Nine seconds, ten seconds. So maybe it's like different, like the army versus the navy. Thank you. 
There's a large black and white Tudor building, the oldest, they say, still standing in London today. Uh, it's known as the Queen's House, but it quite literally is the Queen's House. Hence, it will come as no surprise to you, but I'm afraid to say you can't visit there. It is still, of course, Her Majesty's residence in what still is to this day the palace that is the town of London. Hence, as protocol demands, a century found today from the British Army <coughs> on duty out for a, yeah, at an early stage right. of this life in his sick. <laughs> yeah. Yes, just allied yourself with France! Yeah. <laughs> Unforgivable! Yeah. But one of the last prisoners to be held in the tower was also held within this building, the year 1941. The man's name, Rudolf Hess. Hess, you see, is the deputy Führer of Nazi Germany. Captured in Scotland, just outside Glasgow, on a mission still shrouded with secrecy to this day. Ironically, Hess spends only a few short days here in the tower as a prisoner due to the blitz of this our capital city. A dreadful in August. Done! I'm glad you agree. The house is either side of the Queen's house with the light blue doors. These date from a slightly later period, and today these serve us, well, some of us, Yeoman Warners, as our residences where we live. Behind you, beneath a large clock, can be found the entrance to the Crown Jewels and royal regalia. Yes, ladies! It is today within those vaults that you will find the bling. We should go inside and discuss these six, but before we do, and they tell me so, please, there are a number of rules that we must abide by just whilst we're in the chapel. For your recording. Yes, as I said before, I know what you video camera <laughs> operators are like. <laughs> yes, you take all of me. And give nothing back. <laughs> and they do. Did you record that? And finally, two things. Well, from me. One, if any of you good souls, and you look like one of them, happen this afternoon to be. Where they put their head 
And then they got it chopped off. Because they murdered Sam. Yep, it's an axe right down there. And that's it. They put it in that little... I see if you look at the picture back there, it shows you. You see that, that his head. picture? See his head? The axe and that thing and his body. And this is... Mom, what is the two-hand swords and a thingy magic that... I don't know. Okay? That is an arm thing right there. And those are two hands. These are torture things. And that's like kind of like swords and axes. And little thingy majiggers. Oh, Abby cheese. Nicole axe. Something This is a list Spanish. of people that were going to be tortured in the Spanish thing. During the, this is a list of people that were going to be tortured during the Spanish War because they did something bad. And over here is the, an iron collar. They put it on the neck to be hung, I think. Maybe. Then this is a list of people that were going to be tortured in the um, Spanish War. This is a big painting. And Someone. And this Queen is Queen, Queen Elizabeth the First and and Armour thing. And thank you for listening to my show. Oh, and that's like a head that she cut off, I think. Thank you. That's a Queen Elizabeth the First. But that's not her real head, that's just a sculpture. Thank you for listening to my thing. Thank you. This is um the thing about Queen Elizabeth. Here, it's just kind of like a church. We have to be really silent. This is the altar. Those are chairs there. And that's where you can. There's a cross. And the altar is up there. And from this, you have to be really quiet. So that's why I'm whispering. And they have a real one because you don't have to be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Sacramento Bay. I mean, the San Francisco Bay is the Sacramento River. She saved herself from the Jews. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Sitting up in the chair, paying attention, not talking. Okay, her name is Maggie. Maggie, go for the goal. Go for the goal. Okay. Um, but don't raise your hand though. Very good. Head back to your seat. Keep it now. Put it on the floor in front of your feet so everyone can see it. Very good. Perk, just like that. Wonder. The next one, sit right here in the room. And which toy are you on? All right, sit right over here. Ellie Holtz, and I'm an expert on that. A mountain is a high rocky land, often with steep sides and a pointed top. A mountain range is a group of mountains that form a wall or chain. What is the tallest mountain in California, and what's its elevation? The tallest mountain in California is Mount Whitney, and its elevation is 4,505 feet. 14,000, not 4,000, 14,000. Very good, give her a big round of applause. Get some more people around you. Cut the Maybe lights, okay. people. Lights, camera, action. Go ahead. Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. Should I say or should I go now? Should I say? 